and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be cleaning our bathroom using these natural products. cleaning our bathroom using these natural products but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one so today I'm going to be cleaning our shower room. This is our small bathroom that's just off of our bedroom. Um, this room only really has a shower and a toilet and a sink in it, but it does need a bit of a spring clean. And I've also found some storage ideas that I wanted to show you as well. And this video is part of a series that I'm doing on my channel. So I think this is now the penultimate room. I've got one more room in our house after this. And I've spring cleaned the whole of my house using organic and natural products. I'm going to be using these organic and natural products today. This one I used in our family bathroom and it did a really good job of cleaning the bath, but it's actually meant for tiles. So I'm going to use it in our shower today to see how it does I'm hoping it does a really good job because it did a really good job in our family bathroom so yeah so I'm going to be using these natural products so here is how I've cleaned our bathroom using these natural products to start cleaning this room I'm going to remove all of the items from the shower we currently store our bottles of shampoo etc around the edges of the shower we have no shelf in this part of the bathroom. So I've brought a couple of boxes designed for the shower that I will show you later, but these boxes are going to store our toiletries. So once everything is removed, I then start to clean the shower with the Method Daily Cleaner. It's an all natural cleaner that contains no chemical nasties and has been designed so that you can spray it and leave it on your tiles and then simply wipe it off. Now that Ted has decided to start getting in the shower with me in the morning, I like to know that he won't be inhaling any chemical nasties while he's in there. When I've sprayed the shower, I leave it for five minutes. During the five minutes, I then move on to cleaning the bathroom cabinet. There is not much in here that needs to be thrown away, but it just needs a clean and a reorganise. So I remove all of the items from the cupboard and at this point I take away any items we are not using. Then I'm going to clean the inside with a little bit of the Circare washing up liquid and a few drops of lemon essential oil. Circare is another great product that has no chemical nasties and is suitable for people with sensitive skin issues like me. I've used this product in most of my videos in this series and I've really liked it. It has done a great job at cleaning my home. So now the inside of this cupboard is clean, I then dry it with a tea towel and then I reorganise the inside so it's hopefully easier to find all of the items. We brought this small cupboard from Argos as there were no cupboards or shelves in this bathroom when we moved in. And I do love a bit of storage, so this was perfect for in here. When everything is back, I then go back to turning on the shower and cleaning it with warm water. I just simply wash off the Method Daily Cleaner from the tiles and the door. As I mentioned earlier, it did a great job in our family bathroom and it has done a great job in our shower room too. Once it's all washed off, I then dry the doors of the shower with the tea towel I used earlier and that is our shower done. Now I'm going to use the new baskets I brought from Amazon to store our shower toiletries in. Leave these products in the description box below but I have to say they are great for storage in a small space like our shower. So far they are doing a great job. When the boxes are in the shower I then move on to cleaning the sink. So I've decided to put a few smaller items in the cupboard below and I'm going to keep the toothbrushes and soap up here. Everything has now been removed so I'm going to spray this sink with the Method Daily Cleaner and leave it for five minutes. 
After five minutes, I then give the sink a rinse and dry it with the tea towel. I'm going to give the mirror a quick clean too, then I put everything back. Finally, I move on to cleaning the window and the window sill. Again, I remove all of the items from the window sill. Then I clean the window using the Circare washing up liquid and a couple of drops of the lavender essential oil. Again, I clean the window, the frame and the walls as well. Then I dry it all with the tea towel. When this part of the bathroom is dry, I give the baskets and box we use to store our regular toiletries in a quick clean. Again, using the Circare washing up liquid and essential oil. These baskets were not filthy, but just in need of a quick wipe down. Once they are done, I put them back on the windowsill and the last job I need to do is clean the toilet. So, as with my last video, I'm going to use the white spirit vinegar. I pour a little down the toilet, then I give it a quick clean with the toilet brush and finally, I leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I flush. So that is our shower room cleaned and reorganized. The products I've mentioned in this video, I will link in the description box below for you. And I have not been sponsored by any of the companies mentioned to make this video. I just really like using the products and I would recommend them to a friend. Our bathroom's been cleaned and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you been spring cleaning your home and how's it going? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.